is, in my research, focuses on a concept called political motherhood, which is a form of women's political participation in which they draw upon their identities as mothers to access the political sphere. I look at civil society, the realm of social movements and activism, in difficult political environments such as armed conflicts, authoritarian regimes, and illiberal democracies. Political motherhood matters to democracy in two ways. One, women using political motherhood are able to argue that they're not in fact being political, but are just fulfilling their maternal obligations. This is very useful in constrained civil societies where political rights and civil liberties have been curtailed. Political motherhood is also inclusive of women who have traditionally been ignored in politics. So women are able to use their femininity to enter a political space that's been dominated by men. Political motherhood has, however, been critiqued because it um, reinforces traditional gender norms. So after the war is over, after the political parties return, women can get pushed back into the kitchen or back into the atmosphere because they're also themselves talking about their domestic um, identities. So, however, this has not always been the case. So political motherhood has been able to help some women with long-term political participation, and that's my research question. What are the conditions that allow for this? So I have a two-case research design. One is the Madres of the Plaza de Mayo, and then the other is a group called the Mothers Front that formed in Sri Lanka during the Civil War. So the Madres of the Plaza de Mayo, they organized against a military regime in Argentina in the 70s, and they're actually still organized today. It's their 41st year of existence. The Mothers Front formed in a different but similar context. However, they were only organized for seven years. So my research question is trying to explain what are the difference in outcomes. And I have two hypotheses. One is organizational. The Madres of the Plaza de Mayo organized themselves and were autonomous, whereas the Mothers Front was founded by a political party, and the party is the one who directed their activities. My other hypothesis looks at um, sort of the framing, which is the packaging that you put around your political message, and I argue that the mantras of the Plaza de Mayo emphasize their maternal authority more so than the Mother's Friends, which emphasize their maternal emotionality, sort of like rage against the state for disappearing their children and the loss and the sorrow of their children. This research matters because we're seeing rising authoritarianism around the globe, so political motherhood can help broader human rights movements by making a space in civil society, and of course it also matters 